Okay guys, this time we'll be speaking how we can uh, properly feed Angular Material table with data and we'll be using a synchronous subscription towards observable data source. Let's imagine that uh, in the template we have uh, um, Angular Material table that uh, requires a synchronous subscription. So first we will need to subscribe uh, to the data. So I'll use uh, ngif to check whether we have uh, something inside of our data source and it will be just DES uh, with a dollar sign to signify that it's observable. We will subscribe with the async which will take care of our subscription and also we would like the subscription to be called uh, my data source. This will take part for the subscription and also uh, handling cases where uh, the data is not available to the component and giving errors. Now the real binding of the data will happen between the angular component by typing data source which will be equal to my data source so this will be an alias that will be used uh, afterwards uh, when displaying our data as a recap we are doing uh, first subscription and then uh, after the data is available uh, we are passing it to the uh, component now let's see how we can prepare this uh, data and propagate it Inside of our TypeScript component, we need to set up two class members. First, it will be data source, and it will be of type uh, match table data source, and it will hold data of type my DT. And of course, uh, you can create an interface uh, to ensure that uh, in this generic, we'll be receiving exactly the data uh, that the interface uh, is uh, restricting us to receive. And let's initialize it. It will be initialized with the instance of uh, mat table data source. So basically here we're setting up the required data source and now we'll make one observable that will grab the data and uh, will feed this uh, data source that later we're passing inside of the template. We will just want this data source with a dollar sign to be of type observable of uh, type match table data source, which in turn will have inside data of type my data type. So basically we first created the math table data source and then now in the template we'll be using observable of this math table data source. And now we'll initialize this observable by invoking certain service, let's say uh, my service, so this dot my service, we should have injected this service in the constructor and it should be instantiated already. From there we can just point to certain data, let's say main data, which is also observable. Since the main data observable will be returning just uh, plain data of type my dt, we would like to return mat table data source of type my dt. That's why we need to transform the data we have here from our service. So we'll type pipe, we'll use the map operator and we would like the data that we receive that is from type interface, let's say, of this main data. Let's see what we can do with this data. We would like to feed this received data from the observable, from the service, as a data inside of the uh, DS that we created. So we created one data source and we need to feed its data now. This dot DS dot data equals to the data that we received from the observable service. One thing left is to return the newly created mat table data source. So type return this.ds. This way, when we are subscribing to the DS observable here in the template, we are able to access our data asynchronously and also we optimized the code. So that we are just once creating a mat table data source while declaring this DS variable. And then when we are transforming the received from the service data with the map operator, we're just filling the already reserved in the memory mat table data source with the received data. Okay, it sounds a little bit complicated, but it's quite convenient way of uh, subscribing to asynchronous observables inside of math table. 
one thing uh, more is that you can chain inside of the pipe operator multiple uh, transformers of the data in order to represent the source data in a proper way in your math table. Okay guys, thank you for watching and if you have enjoyed this tutorial you can subscribe to the channel.